first, Coach. I'm, I'm going to get right into it. Of course, yep. struggled to score in, in, the, in the fourth quarter. So I wanted to know what shifted uh, for them on defense, or did you think it was something that happened for you guys on offense? Uh, no, they actually didn't change up. They didn't change anything. They stayed in their 2-3, um, and it was a very flat 2-3 uh, there across the top. But, you know, everything we worked on with attacking, attacking, and they did a tremendous job there in the first where we got them in foul trouble. Uh, we started swinging the ball around the rim, or excuse me, around the horn, and that just that doesn't work against the zone, and, you know, especially when you're not hitting the outside shot. Um, everything we do is predicated by attacking and getting into the paint, maybe kicking out, but um, creating opportunities for one another. And for three quarters, they created opportunities for themselves and for each other. Uh, and they're down in that fourth. You know, we're ahead 40 to 24 going into the fourth quarter. Um, and how I just phrase it, kind of, kind of lost that heartbeat. Uh, we lost the ability to play through one another, um, but most importantly, we lost uh, our rebounding. Uh, and anytime you give up 23 rebounds in a game, it's just not going to turn out very well for us, and it didn't. And so then on there, and would you say that, I would guess for UIW, they made some plays down the stretch, had some big buckets, and then so, but they gave, you guys gave up 26 points as well. So um, how do you, was it more because of what you guys did on offense that predicated on the defense bit? Definitely don't want to take any credit away from the players. I thought, you know, some of their players made some nice little mid-range jumpers, squared their hips up, uh, definitely hits good shots. Um, but a lot of those were second chance shots. So yes, there again, um, you know, it comes down to us getting the block out. Um, you know, down the stretch, we gave up six, two, four, six points. Uh, we gave up anytime, you know, we're in the free throw situation and our bottom block is getting out rebound by the second kid. That's just not good. Um, and each time we did that, we talk about it all the time. If you give up an offensive rebound, one or two things are going to happen. They're either going to score or you're going to foul. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, and that, that plagued us the entire fourth quarter. And so then I guess, of course, sitting with this right now, what are some of the things you told the girls kind of going into the next game? Uh, just kind of how, how to take this move forward. Yeah, I said, obviously, we can't dwell on it. you got to wear it. You got to let it sit in your heart because we lost the game because we lost that heartbeat. Um, not just on the five on the on the floor, but I thought our bench was incredibly quiet. We're our best when we're all of us are our best, and the bench is loud, and that pours onto the court. Uh, and then the court girls, um, when you miss a shot, you know you miss a shot. It's the other eleven of us, uh, eleven players' job to build them up. And I think we just got quiet when things were bad. They got bad. Uh, let me rephrase that: when things got bad, they got worse. Uh, and I don't know that we just had that that same amount of energy. Uh, and so we didn't handle that adversity very well. Um, but collectively, uh, the best thing about these crazy swings is, you know, we already started film on, on Corpus Christi. Um, not because we're forgetting about UIW, but you have to have a really quick memory or a short memory rather. Um, but with an emphasis that if we don't rebound on Saturday, uh, it's not gonna go very well. So we gotta let go of the game. You know, don't, be, don't, be, uh, don't dwell on it, don't sulk but let it empower us to get better and make sure that we take care of business, take care of the ball, rebound the ball on Saturday. Um, Corpus Christi's uh, probably fighting right now for the number one spot with SLU. You know, we'd like to be fighting um, for that number one spot as well, but we just didn't play that fourth quarter. I think maybe we played 32 minutes of really good basketball, um, but those last eight minutes really killed us. Thank you much. Uh, coach, just a couple quick things. Um, get a couple thoughts on the first half uh certainly the the parts that we talk about all the time moving the ball playing through each other we definitely saw that uh those first few minutes of both the first and second quarter yeah absolutely i mean they, they pushed the ball in transition which is something that we you know really pride ourselves on we did it there in the you know the first half that's what gave us a good lead we continued that there in the third quarter um and that was kind of what was disappointing they didn't change anything they still ran their 2-2-1 press uh they either dropped into a 1-3-1 or a 2-3 um but again we got stagnant um you know, and I know you asked me about the positives, and I'm sorry, my mind went quickly back to, uh, you know, that fourth quarter. Um, they played really well. They pushed the ball. They played through one another. We made the extra pass around the rim. You know, we, I think we tried to really feed it down inside. We talk a lot about, to me, um, it's not a good possession, and, I, and a lot of coaches. Uh, if it doesn't go inside out, if it doesn't touch your big man or your big girl or your five or what have you, um, you know, it's not a good possession. So we did that in the first half. We played with heartbeat. We played with tremendous pressure. Um, you know, we made adjustments at halftime on, on how they were getting those backdoor cuts. Uh, you know, they had a wing option with the backdoor cut. They made adjustments. Um, I think we, we uh, got a little too cool for school and that uh, headed into the fourth quarter. And it just, in, in conference play in any game, um, irregardless of a record or 5-0 and or 0-5 and or what have you. And, you know, our team last year's credit to that. Uh, we hadn't won a game all year, but you take a team lightly and they're going to come in and get you. And, you know, I thought we did a great job for three quarters and gave it up and there in the fourth. 
Uh, finally, we've seen, we've seen it. We've talked about it several times, how this team has bounced back after, after tough games. Another opportunity, but got to do it quick for Saturday. Yep, same thing. We talked about there at the very end of the game. You know, we're already, my staff's in there, and they're, they're already going over scout for Corpus Christi. We're turning in film, or turning film on. We're going to eat dinner together. Um, you can't let go of it as far as what we need to correct, but you absolutely can't pout about it, sulk about it. we got to have that next play mentality, and this one's just consider it next play, next game mentality, uh, and, and have a great bounce back, and I know the girls are capable of it. So they're a tough group of kids. We just got to get out over this night and, and move in, move into the Saturday game. And another fortunate thing is, despite how frustrating the fourth quarter was, we still had a chance to win down the stretch if we get a defensive stop and all the you know things to play out. But still had a chance to win late. So still a good thing. Yup. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you much.